And here in Salt Lake City, day two of the Kilby Block Party is going on right now. ABC4 News spoke with today's headliners and event coordinators for a recap on what's going on today and what you can expect to see for tomorrow. Singers performing for a field filled with fans. Those moments of, uh, of feeling like, wow, this is a... Uh, this is a job and this is like like I'm a musician and I'm playing a show like so many of those moments happen for me playing at Kilby Court. Those fans from all over over half the people coming are from out of state bought over 24,000 tickets a day for this year's fourth annual Kilby Block Party. What makes Kilby Court special is just its location and its size. You know, it's a small garage venue, so it feels like you're playing at home. Um, with friends and I think that's where the magic is. It's a three day Salt Lake City Music Festival, not just fun for fans, I just read I just read but for local musicians too. I think that a lot of Salt Lake musicians have had kind of the same experience and Kilby has really helped us feel like we're like real musicians. There's a really uh, emotional connection I think for a lot of people just for the beginning of, of starting a music career and and, uh, and and being able to share it with the community. This block party, organizers say, is just starting. If this grew up to be even bigger, then that would be amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's gotten bigger every year. And it's an event they say they look forward to every year. So for this year, that block party goes through tonight and its third and final day is tomorrow.